Now let's examine how you can create logical volumes during the Red Hat Enterprise Linux installation process. As we've already installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux during the RHCT course, we won't go over all the details of installations, just the screens associated with logical volumes in GUI mode. While we could also address text mode, that installation option doesn't provide the same abilities to create custom logical volumes, so we stick to the GUI installation here, specifically looking at the GUI Distruid tool. First, to customize partitions, when you get to this step, make sure the Review and Modify Partitioning Layout option is selected. When you click Next and then accept the warning, you're taken to the Distruid screen with a set of default options for logical volumes. By default, much of the space is assigned as a volume group, and of that, most of it is assigned as a logical volume for the top-level root directory. The remaining space is assigned as swap space, and a small partition outside of logical volumes is assigned to the boot directory. Now let's try a scenario. Let's say you're told to set up a top-level root directory of 2 gigabytes and a home directory in a logical volume of 1 gigabyte. Right now we have more than enough space allocated to the top-level root directory, so let's edit that out. When you click Edit and highlight the appropriate logical volume, you're taken to the Governing Volume group. Let's edit the logical volume and make sure it has just 2 gigabytes of space, which is also 2,000 megabytes of space. Click OK. Now let's add a third logical volume, not a second logical volume. It's third because we have the root directory, swap space, and now the home directory. We want to allocate a gigabyte of space to this logical volume, which equals a thousand megabytes. Click OK. You'll note that there are small differences between what we wanted and what's actually assigned. When it's done on regular partitions, that's because of small differences are due to disk geometry. When it's done with logical volumes, it's because small differences are due to something called physical extents, a detail that you don't really need to know. Just be aware that you'll see those small differences, and they aren't penalized during the Red Hat exams. But before we get out of that editing, let's set up the next scenario and remove the physical volume associated with the second SCSI drive. We do that. And let's delete the associated partition as well. Confirm, and that's deleted.